and welcome to day five of Passive Investing 101. So even though it's our last day, this is not the end of our real estate journey together. This is just the beginning. Well, by now you've equipped yourself with so much more knowledge and understanding to help you make better decisions when it comes to investing in multifamily syndications. Now, today we're going to wrap things up by talking about the 10 steps to investing in your first multifamily syndication. I know how scary it can feel the first time you wire $50,000 into your first deal. So I want to make sure that I provide you with as many tools and resources as possible so you can feel confident that you've made the right decision. Whether your goal is cash flow, appreciation, or a combination of both, this guide will provide you with the knowledge and tools to make informed investment decisions. From educating yourself and defining your goals to reinvesting or cashing out, each step is crucial to your success as a multifamily syndication investor. So let's dive in and unlock the potential of multifamily investments together. Now, the first step to investing in a multifamily syndication is to continue doing what you're already doing right now, and that is to educate yourself. Building your confidence begins with extensive research and learning from various sources. Listen to podcasts, read books, visit online forums. These are all excellent platforms to gather knowledge and insights from experienced investors. Make sure to subscribe to the Commercial Real Estate Bosses podcasts and also connect with other investors in our online community. Ask questions and learn from their experiences. One thing I love about this industry is that there's always more to learn. So no matter where you are in your commercial real estate journey, take some time each week to listen to a podcast or watch a training. By understanding the fundamentals of multifamily syndication, you'll be well equipped to make informed investment decisions. Step two is define your goals. Before you dive into investing, it's essential to define your goals. Determine whether you're seeking cash flow, appreciation, or a balanced approach. Knowing your objectives will help you align your investment strategy and make better decisions throughout the process. Take the time to evaluate your financial situation, risk tolerance, and long-term aspirations. Clear goals will steer you in the right direction and ensure you invest with purpose. Step three is to consider rolling over your 401k into a self-directed IRA. If you have a 401k from a previous employer, this step allows you to unlock additional funds for your multifamily syndication investment. By rolling over your 401k to a self-directed IRA, you gain the flexibility to invest in a wider range of assets, including multifamily syndications. And when you invest in real estate using your self-directed IRA, you do not have to pay taxes on the gains when the property is sold. Of course, make sure to consult with your financial advisor to explore this option and understand the potential tax implications and eligibility requirements. Step four is all about building relationships. So start those conversations with potential sponsors and syndicators who align with your investment goals and values. Engage in meaningful conversations to understand their investment strategies, track records, and expertise. Research their past projects and seek testimonials from other investors. By establishing these connections, you position yourself to explore potential opportunities and collaborate with reputable sponsors. And step four is to find an investment opportunity that fits. Now that you've educated yourself and defined your goals, it's time to find an investment opportunity that fits your criteria. Explore different multifamily syndication projects and carefully review the provided materials. Executive summaries, investment webinars, and full investor summaries are excellent resources to gain a deeper understanding of the opportunity. Pay attention to the sponsor's track record, market analysis, and projected returns. Thorough due diligence will help you identify a project that aligns with your investment goals. Step five is to reserve your spot in the deal. When a suitable multifamily syndication deal becomes available, be prepared to act quickly. Popular projects can fill up as quickly as a few days or sometimes even a few hours. So to secure your spot, you will need to place what's called a soft commitment. This shows your interest in the deal and allows you time to review the legal documentation and perform further due diligence. Being proactive and responsive will increase your chances of participating in the investment opportunity. 
Step six is to review the Private Placement Memorandum, also known as PPM. As an investor, it's crucial to review and understand the PPM, which is a legal document that outlines the investment opportunity, the associated risks, and your role as an investor. Take the time to carefully read and comprehend its contents. If you have any questions or concerns, seek advice from professionals such as attorneys or financial advisors. Being well informed will empower you to make confident investment decisions. Step seven is to wire in your funds. Once you've completed your due diligence and are ready to proceed, it's time to send in your investment funds. But before transferring your funds to the deal sponsor, double check the wiring information to ensure accuracy. If you're using a self-directed IRA or 401k, your custodian should be able to assist you with this process. It's important to follow the specified instructions to avoid any delays or complications. Step eight, relax and reap the rewards. With your investment in place, it's time to relax and reap the rewards. As a multifamily syndication investor, you'll receive regular updates on the project's progress. Monthly or quarterly reports, cash flow distributions, and annual K-1s will keep you informed about the performance of your investment. This passive income stream can provide financial stability and the potential for long-term wealth accumulation. Step 10 is to either reinvest or cash out. So as the multifamily syndication investment reaches its projected hold time, you'll face a decision to either reinvest it or to cash out. Evaluate the market conditions, the property performance, and your personal financial goals. If the opportunity aligns with your long-term objectives, reinvesting the profits into another syndication project can compound your returns over time. Alternatively, you may choose to cash out and enjoy the fruits of your investment. Consider consulting with financial professionals to make the best choice for your circumstances. So those are the 10 steps of investing in a multifamily syndication. Before we wrap things up, I want to answer the big question. And that is, how much can I really make when I invest in a multifamily syndication? Of course, it's important to remember that no two investments are exactly the same and outcomes can vary. But here are three main criteria to look for. Number one is projected hold time. The typical hold time for multifamily syndications is five years. However, this can vary depending on the market. Five years is usually enough time to allow for healthy returns and sufficient time for property updates and appreciation. Number two, projected cash on cash returns. As we mentioned on day two, the cash on cash return is the monthly or quarterly cash flow that you receive during the holding period of your investment. So a good number to aim for is between about eight to 10% per year. So that would equate to between 8,000 to 10,000 per year on a $100,000 investment. Number three, the projected profit upon sale. Typically, you can expect a profit of 40 to 60% upon the sale of the asset in year five. So if you were to invest $100,000 in a real estate syndication deal with these projected returns, you would end up with approximately $200,000 after five years. This impressive return is difficult to achieve with savings accounts or the stock market. And because of the power of depreciation, you continue to show losses on your tax returns. I want to emphasize the significance of due diligence when investing in a real estate syndication. While we've covered the projected returns, there's no guarantee that these figures will always come to fruition. Make sure to conduct a thorough analysis of the deal, the market, and the sponsor team to mitigate your risk and make informed decisions. Finally, let's talk about what would happen if you consistently invested $50,000 per year in real estate syndications over a 10 year period. Let's assume that you continue to reinvest your profits over that 10 year period. Well, with an annual average return of 15%, after 10 years of consistent investing, you could potentially have over $880,000 invested across multiple real estate syndications. With an 8% cash on cash return, this portfolio could produce around $70,000 in passive income per year, which would open up a world of possibilities for you. Whether you want to retire and travel the world or leave your W-2 so you can spend more time with your family, the possibilities are endless. 
Well, congratulations. You've now completed the five-day passive investing 101 masterclass. By educating yourself, you are well on your way to building a successful multifamily syndication portfolio. Remember, this is only the beginning of our real estate journey together, and I look forward to continue working with you inside of the Commercial Real Estate Bosses free community. If you still have questions or would like to know more about how we can help you navigate through your first multifamily syndication, feel free to schedule a call with me on my calendar link below. Thanks again for joining me, and I can't wait to see you progress on your commercial real estate journey.